Good morning everyone, and today we're looking at another watch review. Uh, we're looking at the Fossil FS5960 today, men's watch in 42mm. Um, before we actually get onto that, we're going to have a brief look at the box that it comes in. So looking at the box here, this is just a plain sort of tin like, uh, with a simple lift off lid fashion. No folded lid to it with nice smooth rounded edges. In terms of the weight of the box, the weight of the box seems very, uh, very, very light. And the box, as you can see, is only very small compared to someone's hands, probably. Not much bigger than my first finger. Um, before we actually move on to that watch, though, I'm just going to briefly introduce you to the Mappy Tiso Pepsi uh, Quartz Movement. Please feel free to check uh, check out the review of this on my channel. Um, excellent little Pepsi if you don't want to be paying, obviously, the hundreds of thousands to, for a real one. You can always just pay. I paid 500 for this from Mappy Tiso back in 2015. So it's an excellent little purchase if you want a simple Pepsi Quartz watch. But for today's video, we're going to look at the Fossil watch, as mentioned. So, inside the box, obviously inside the box, let's have a little look. And get the lid off. As you see, it's got a very, very uh, sort of tinny feel to it. Um, obviously, the quality of it is uh, not what you expect from like a tin feel, but it's uh, that sort of hollow, hollow that metal sound from the tin box. So obviously you've got your manual inside, your fossil manual. And actually in with the watch, you've got a simple piece of cardboard acting as like a sock to uh, display that fossil watch for you. And nothing else inside, just a simple hard inside padding. Move that to this one side. Move this little bit of cover. So here we go. This is the uh, fossil FS. Um, FS5960. Get a little initial look at the watch. As you can see, so looking at the face, we can see that the actual watch itself looks like it's got like a uh, like a dotted back to it, almost like a um, like one of those sort of soft cushions you get in some watch boxes. It's got that sort of texture to it, texture of the top layer. Um, so it's like a it's like a it's like a Khan colour, so like a sky blue, sky blue blacking with full luminous hands and fully luminous increments. The increment style follows a very similar style to the Rolex Submariner with the different shapes of different increments. So you've got a triangle at the top, you've got dots around at 5 and 10, and you've got dashes at each sort of quarter of an hour mark. Very, very popular little feature there. The hands themselves are kind of arrowhead hands. They're all sort of, uh, I like, especially like that first hour hand there, which... Um, gets thicker then points to a nice sharp point at the end there that's quite a unique style of hand that you don't often see so a little bit a little bit a little bit, little, little, little bit closer you've got inside the face here you've got an indented 45 degree angle on the actual the dashes of the face i think it's 45 degree it might be a little bit sharper than that so it might be a little bit it's probably about 80 or 70 degree angle there often they're either 45 degree or completely flat this one seems to be have a slight indentation here the second hand is also fully luminous and obviously operating that black uh, black option with a cyclops eye to enhance the date function look. So the actual specs of this watch, so the specs of this watch, the watch sits at 42 millimeters with a case thickness across here of 11 millimeters. Uh, did I say 42 centimeters? Sorry, 42 millimeters and 11 millimeters across. In terms of the weight, the weight of the watch is 70 grams. I had a look at that before I started. And the price of the watch is only about 80 pounds. It's not a bad little um, stylish watch for that sort of price part, that sort of price point. Obviously offering that nice little blue color there. Glass type, we look at a, a flat mineral glass, waterproof to 100 meters, as it says on the face right here at the bottom. 
looking at the bezel itself so the bezel is a uh, sort of an older style bezel with the um the rough indentations to help you move the bezel as well the bezel does move it's very very stiff to move that bezel it is unidirectional it appears to be yeah, it's a very very stiff bezel op uh, offers like an old-fashioned style submariner look with the little tiny uh, numbers around the sides acting as like a ruler sort of style in terms of the shape of the numbers yeah, full stainless steel with thick bezel here with a black uh, plate on top of it as well. So looking at the actual casing next to it, the casing is mirror finished stainless steel. Going all the way around to the side as well, you've got a, a, um, you've got a little bit of brushed effect on the edges here, similar to a Submariner. And more chrome finish on the inside here. And also the you're looking at the crown, the crown has also got a matte finish with a chrome mirror finish on the side so overall it's a good contrast of uh, mirrored and lined uh, finish to the stainless steel give it a little bit of a shake components seem to be well put together so that's uh, that's always a bonus nothing's fallen off so around to the back obviously we've got that very very filthy back plate from where i've been handling handling it so it's a full mirror finish unmarked in terms of logo full fossil stainless steel back plate with that 10 atm 100 meter water resistance quota on the back also you've got that model number there as well looking at the connections to the bracelets so the actual connections here is a popper pin with um, like a an assistance clip so you can cl quickly quick release it's quick release popper pins here um not often seen on, the, on various watches but it is good to see when you uh, when you get them so if you want to change the strap you will need to just pull these little levers and you'll get the strap off in terms of the strap itself the strap is a genuine leather fossil with a single window system for that class to slot through offering a black sort of uh, crocodile finish to the top of it with a fully lined white stitch finish to the end of the strap just to add a little bit of contrast to the actual style of the watch looking at the actual clasp the clasp connection is obviously a, f a fully uh, embossed uh, sorry fully engraved uh, fossil matte finish stainless steel uh, clasp with a single window uh, clip to fit through the single window systems the single windows actually seem quite thick and very very circular so they've been punched very nicely some of them have a uh, some of them do wear over time so i've got an example here um some of them don't have as as thick circles some have quite thick really defined um gaps for you to slot your watch uh clasp through so that's a very nice thing to see nice little quality to the actual hole punch on the on the on the actual strap of the watch so I'm gonna have a look at little look at this on. Gonna have a brief look at the um the quality of the actual crown as well in a minute. So there we go, that's how the watch looks when it's on. Overall, I'm not sure about the faded sort of black, the fading black to the uh, the bezel here at the end, but it's quite a unique sort of style watch. I quite like the touch of it. Yeah, it's a it's a nice style, I'd say. But I don't know if it's quite my taste. But it's um Let's have a look at the uh, the quality of the clasp movement. Oh, sorry, the crown movement. Yeah, so a decent date function there, not too flimsy, and a nice strong outer connection with us. A, a slightly quick movement to the actual hands here. Let's see if I can see the actual time and date. And you can see the hands move quite quickly relative to how much you move it so it's a little bit flimsy but it's not it's not really really bad it's um it's a medium quality one average sort of quality not as good as some other watches but it's still a nice little um style overall uh, impression i think it's a nice watch it has to be a very um, has to be for an acquired taste anyway i hope you enjoyed that video and i'll see you on the next one